Hello everyone and welcome to another video tutorial with GUI. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn the timer function. For timers, the MATLAB software includes a timer object that can be used to schedule the execution of MATLAB commands. Now, here are the steps involved in creation of MATLAB object. First one is to create the timer object. Here we use timer function to create the object. The second is to specify which MATLAB command you want to execute. Here timer object properties to specify the information are used. Third one is start the timer object. After creation of timer object, start using with push button. And finally to delete the object when the execution and work is done. The final layout will be like this. So let's start the guide. Follow the regular procedure. Here we will just need a edit box to enter the value for timer. And another one will need a push button. So this is the final layout after proper editing. Let's run this to save. Ok. Now we will need to uh, program push button. Do callbacks, callback. Now here we have extracted the uh, edit box as handles dot edit to as argument as usual. Now here we have used the timer function, uh, which is the soul of this program. Uh, now we have provided another uh, argument as start delay. So if st state is true, then we'll pause. From, uh, we'll get into loop and we'll pause for one second for every iteration it makes until the value we have entered that is n so until it reaches to n the for loop will continue executing and as soon as the condition is false it will get out of for loop so let's run this program and see what happens so we'll enter value 10 start so as you can see here in the command window after one second values are refreshing and after reaching 10 we are getting the message timer so after running timer here is extension that is digital clock which will be synchronized to original timing now here, here we have extracted few of the arguments from your control and the figure here we have initiated timer object and we have provided proper uh, arguments such as name uh, reminder period of 60 seconds uh, here we have provided another argument that is tasks to execute along with the information which is number of times to update the task uh, and we have written a simple function that is to update r and you can get the code by clicking on the link in the video description down below so this is pretty much it now we will run the program so as you can see it is showing time as 4.44 pm which is roughly the exact time. So this is about it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any thought, any suggestion, please leave it in the comment section down below. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching the video.